Hey guys, Rick DeBayo here. Today I want to talk a little bit about transhumanism and how it's affecting the world and who's at play, people from the World Economic Forum. Let me first uh, describe what transhumanism is for those of you who are not familiar. Transhumanism is a philosophical and intellectual movement that advocates the enhancement of the human condition by developing and making widely available sophisticated technologies that can greatly enhance longevity and cognition. Now, a major key player that you have to keep your eyes on is Dr. Yuval Noah Harari. I'm sure by now you guys have heard of him. I personally believe that he's going to be the one, or aside from many, that's going to lead us straight or lead those straight into the tribulation with this technology of transhumanism. So I want to talk to you today about the future of our species and really the future of life. We are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. Within a century or two, Earth will be dominated by entities that are more different from us than we are different from Neanderthals or from chimpanzees. Because in the coming generations, we will learn how to engineer bodies and brains and minds. These will be the main products of the economy, of the 21st century economy, not textiles and vehicles and weapons, but bodies and brains and minds. Some corporations and governments will be able to systematically hack billions of people. So now they're looking at us like, uh, like a bunch of animals, where we can be hacked, like we're, we're, we can be manipulated, our thoughts can be read, so we can therefore be hacked. And he actually quotes this in one of the videos that I'll present to you here shortly. He quote unquote says, uh, we are now hackable animals. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design and the intelligent design of our clouds, the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. All this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. So th this guy is already an abomination uh, to the Lord. And like I said, it seems very well that he's going to be a key player into what's going to be happening in the darkest of days, especially going into the Great Tribulation, the second three and a half years of the Great Tribulation. Uh, he's going to play a major role in that, uh, presenting the Mark of the Beast. So this Dr. Harari uh, seizes his animals and he blasphemes God. What does the Bible say in Revelation 13, 5? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. That's three and a half years. So as I mentioned, this person, whoever is the Antichrist, I believe it, it's him. I'm not saying it is, but I truly believe it can be. It might be. Dies, he's resurrected, and then becomes the son of perdition. So as you can see, this guy's no joke. He's really something to keep your eyes on. Time is getting short, guys. So let's share the gospel, us believers. Let's be ambassadors of Christ. I'll refer them back to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins the entire world sins, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Let your family know what's going on in the world. It could be that some people don't even watch the news. It could be that some people are not uh, feeding into social media or YouTube or just trying to dig the information. Because this is information really that it's not going to be, it's not going to surface unless you actually find it or search for it. And if they're not searching, well, obviously they're not going to know. Share the video. Um, and I hope you guys get a lot out of it. And as always, guys, I love you all. God bless. We'll see you, Lord willing, on the next video.